Hi there, it's Clint again. This is going to be a companion video for this discourse post. Just showing you how to run the commands and what that looks like. So let's go ahead and get right into it. You'll see I've already authenticated and I've already run ZD Edge list edge routers. I only have a single edge router. It is online. So let's go ahead and follow the steps that are going to be posted into the discourse post. First thing to do is to find the controller's external address and set that external address down below in your edge router 2. Make sure that the ports are open. So we want to go ahead and use a curl statement with a timeout. And if it doesn't timeout like that, then we know that it succeeds. And we'll do the same thing for the control plane port. Oh, I didn't find the control plane port yet. Let me demonstrate finding the control plane port 8440. Now we're going to head and do the same thing to the control plane port, 8440. If it doesn't succeed, let's use a 6, you'll see that it times out like this. Now let's go ahead and use the quick start guide and create um, or download the binaries for use to run the ZD router. And it added it to the path if necessary. Go ahead and run your ZD login command here on the edge router. It just is a bit easier to run it here, and you'll see why. We won't have to transfer a JWT, but you could certainly run it on the controller if you want, and then transfer the JWT. Next, I'm going to run a command to create edge router 2, and I'm going to output the JWT to the specified location. And you'll see this JWT was created in uh, in my ZD home directory, which is going to be the quick start and ER2. Don't worry about the double slash, small little bug there. Now I'm going to set some more uh, variables. I'm going to export the router's name, the controller's advertised address, the control port the router's connected to the controller over, and then optionally an IP address. And I'm going to head and go ahead and create a private edge router. This means that the private edge router is not linked to, so uh, it's not public. We go through public if we want to go through a public one. Now let's enroll that edge router, passing the JWT that we created earlier. Registration complete. Now let's just make sure that it boots up and runs. Great. We can see it all works. Let's now go back to the controller list edge routers. You'll see I have two edge routers. You can see that it is online. Let's make sure that the edge router has linked to the other edge router. To do that, we'll run ZD Fabric List Links. We see one link. Fantastic. This is the acceptor, the one that is being dialed. The other router is connecting to it. From ER2 is the dialer. Great. Now we're done, basically. But let's go ahead and if you have a systemd enabled uh, environment, we're going to go ahead and create a systemd unit file. We can copy that file to the correct place. And we're going to call it ZD service. Notice how I change it from the router name to ZD service. Call daemon call daemon reload. And now we'll just start the router. So now if I do a sudo system control status ZD router, it is active and running. It's not crashing, it is connected. Let's go ahead and back and check the links. We have a link and that's all there is to it. Hope that video helps, hope the instructions help.